To kick off our evaluation section, we have Jeremy Udell evaluating Mr. Jim Langford. Giving evaluation seemed terrifying, terrifying to Jeremy when he first started Toastmasters. How could someone so inexperienced give advice to veteran speakers who have been doing it for years, but he realized that giving evaluations isn't just about helping the speaker. Watching another speaker so closely and evaluating their style can be a learning experience for the evaluator as well as the speaker. He's happy to be spending spring break with the articulators. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> and he's happy to be evaluating Jim today. Let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Jeremy Udell. <laughs> balance. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's what I mean. You were looking for balance in your speech today, especially when you stood on that chair. And who can blame you for that? We've all seen Jim improve vastly. It's yes. incredible to watch Jim grow because I remember that first speech as he stood up here reading his speech and kind of glancing around just a little bit. And now he's almost a master of eye contact. He's literally yes. not just doing it because he knows he's supposed to. He's engaging with us. He talked to Thomas in the middle of the speech. He was looking at us individually and telling us his story. It was amazing. And that's a huge part of body movement. And it's natural to him now. Five speeches in, and it's natural to him now to look up at us and talk to us. It's amazing, and it was so good. And it brought us in. Facial expressions. Happy, <laughs> warm. He wants us to feel what he's feeling, and he shows us that warmth inside that brings us into the speech. A big part, again, of that body language. Sometimes we get caught up in were there big gestures and how is his stance. Jim's kind of a subtle guy, so you have to watch for those subtle <laughs> cues. Kind of. And those subtle cues include that very engrossing eye contact and those warm facial expressions. You do that so well, Jim. So congratulations on adding that to your repertoire. Same thing with his vocal variety. If you listen to his vocal variety, there's not a lot of ups and downs, not a lot of volume bursts, and you could add some more of that. But some natural things he does when he's talking about the people calling him. He speeds up his voice real quick because they're the crazy people who wanted to go here, here, and here. He gives us that quick pace to let us know that that's the stress in his life. Because Jim talks nice and slow. He has no problem pausing and giving us a little bit of time while he's looking for his next visual aid. Great at using visual aids. He's bringing them to us. And he's going to just look for it and find it and show it to us once it's up. He doesn't say, hold on, wait a second, you know, I'm sorry about this. He doesn't have to apologize. And we don't have to apologize when we're finding that next thought, when we're looking for that visual aid. Everybody's here waiting for you. And I really appreciate the fact that you don't have to tell us we're waiting for you. And of course you stepped way outside of your comfort zone with this thing here, you know, the big visual move. I couldn't believe you did that, got up on the chair. It was really amazing. I would say though, I thought you should have opened with that. Show us balance. My life feels like this sometimes. I'm out of balance and I'm standing on a chair. I want to tell you about some of the things that bring me into balance. As an evaluator, it's like helping somebody who's trying to put together a puzzle. When you're the speaker, you have these puzzle pieces in front of you, and you're not quite sure what the picture looks like. Mm -hmm. The evaluator sometimes gets to look at that picture. And I feel like that could have been a nice addition to your speech, <coughs> to add that. The other thing, probably just a little bit more on the gestures, a little bit more on some of the stance, but you're adding that. I don't really need to hit you on it because I was real impressed. <coughs> Great job, Jim. Thank you. And that's all. Thank you, Mr. General. Buddy.